Dress watches. A surprisingly controversial topic in the watch world, purists will tell you that a pure dress watch should only have hours and minute hand, can't even have a second hand. However, in modern times, it's acceptable to even have an extremely complicated dress watch. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys three different types of dress watches under 40 millimeters that you can buy today. Today's sponsor is Exquisite Timepieces. That's actually where I got my Grand Seiko from. So if you guys want to check them out and check out their inventory, I'll have a link down in the description below. The final thing I want to mention is this is not going to be a review of all these watches. This is just going to be me showing you guys the different types of dress watches you can get today. And then I'm going to have an individual review for every single watch you see here. So make sure you comment down below if you have any questions about any watch you see in this video. The watch we're taking a look at here is the SBGW231 from the House of Seiko. Actually from the House of Grand Seiko. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a simple watch with no date, only the hour, minute and seconds hand. In my opinion this is probably the purest and the best dress watch on this list. The Grand Seiko features a manual wind movement with a 3 day power reserve and a very subtle cream dial. However the watch is a bit shiny with the Zeratsu polishing and in my opinion that dial is just extremely clean and it could be easily dressed up or dressed down. Though the watch is extremely simple, extremely minimalist, the Zeratsu polishing makes this watch exquisite on the wrist and it is my favorite. The next dress watch we're taking a look at is from the house of Schaffhausen. Now we're going to be taking a look at a watch that adds an extra complication. Believe it or not, a date is considered a complication. However, today we're going to be taking a look at probably a useless complication, but beautiful nonetheless, which is the moon phase. Although purists might disagree since there's a complication on this watch that this would be a dress watch, it's hard to argue that this little 36mm watch won't be dressed up easily with a suit. The watch is extremely beautiful and it is extremely simple even though it does have a moon phase. Now this IWC Da Vinci moon phase could be a bit of a controversial one. That art deco kind of style to the case might be a bit polarizing to people. Some people might love it, some people might hate it. But I'm here to tell you at 36 millimeters and the way this watch is just extremely classic and even though this is identified as a unisex watch, I wore this watch and I can happily tell you this fits extremely well and looks extremely nice dressed up. In fact, if you actually put a shell cordovan strap, it could dress down, however it's really hard especially at that size and if you have bigger wrists, there's no way you're going to be able to dress this down. The JLC Master Geographic. This is probably going to piss off purists the most. Calling this a dress watch is probably crazy to many. However, having this complicated watch, very slim and extremely elegant, it's hard not to see how it could be easily dressed up. Having a complicated watch honestly isn't a problem, especially if you're a traveler. The JLC Master Geographic would be perfect for you. Now, I already have a full review of this watch. However, let me give you guys a gist of this watch. This watch is a world timer with the Caliber 929. The Caliber 929 is the same like their watches with only power reserve but with an added world timer. The watch is extremely easy to set as long as you have a reference time. You can set it and it's very easy to operate from the 11 o'clock. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out Excluded Timepieces, they're an authorized dealer for Grand Seiko and other brands as well. Now, if you guys decide to check them out, make sure you mention the channel and they'll take care of you over there. But guys, first of all, I wanted to thank you so much for watching. Please add in the comment section below what your favorite dress watches would be. It doesn't matter the price point. And also the next review will be that Grand Seiko. So if you guys have any questions about that specific Grand Seiko, add it in the comment section below and I'll make sure I'll answer it in the next video. But guys, I wanted to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.